The 33rd Annual General Meeting was held in order to present the bank's audited financial statement for the financial year ended December 31, 2023, declare a final dividend, elect members of the board, and authorize the directors to fix the remuneration of the auditors, amongst other matters. Founder and Chairman, Zens Bank PLC, Jim Ovia, noted that despite challenges both globally and domestically, Zenith Bank successfully harnessed business opportunities and demonstrated remarkable resilience. He says this year's performance reflects the bank's and group's strong financial conditions. Our month ended 31st December 2023 B and is hereby declared payable on pro rata basis to the shareholders holding fully paid up ordinary shares registered in the bank as at the close of business 24th of April 2024, bringing the total dividend of the financial year ended 31st December 2023 to 4 Naira and a gross dividend of 125 billion 585-973-148 and that the directors be and are hereby authorized to give effect to this resolution. There is a higher acceleration of um, onboarding of customers on the digital channel. So that made it now look like, as it were, physical branch opening has taken a backseat. Why? online banking and onboarding of customer is accelerating. So we have to move in line with the tune of the market. But it's also important to say that even with what we are doing with digitization, there is a steady and high velocity of retail customers that are coming into the stream. You'll, you'll see that resonate in our savings account figure where we've recorded uh, a figure in excess of two trillion. And then our retail, in terms of our retail banking, our uh, retail deposit now constitutes is growing every year at a CAGR of not less than uh, 30%. So that gives an indication of what we are doing there. If you recall at the onset, then it was a corporate end institution. But now we've embraced retail banking to the extent that we are a very, very close number two when it comes to retail banking. Number of retail accounts we have in 2019, number of retail accounts we have was 9 million. But as we speak now, number of retail accounts is 40 million. Then this bank in 2022, they gave us uh, 3 naira, 10 kobo, or 20 kobo. And now this year again, they are giving us 4 naira. I think uh, the expectation is that the shareholders, our, ex our expectations are that by next year, we hope to get more. Now that they are transiting to Oko, we believe that more businesses will come their way. And from there, we are going to get a better dividend because they are gross earnings, they are bottom line, everything, profit before tax and after tax are going to, uh, there will be an increase. The bank has done very well. But more importantly, I'm happy with the succession planning. You can see that um, the new MD is coming from the bank. And this showed that they have a very good succession planning. And it will encourage staff to work for the bank. I am satisfied. More so that they have paid the dividend before we finish the meeting. Which means they were prepared for the shareholders. And that is the beauty of shareholding. That you invest and you are getting a return. The bank has a core investor who is a defender and is always monitoring everything that is being done. And uh, the growth of the bank uh, is also being possible because the bank follows good corporate governance. And you can see every aspect of their performance lined up as stated uh, according to the committees that are assigned to perform each responsibilities in the bank. Zenith Bank's increased dividend of 4 naira per share is certainly a positive signal to investors and analysts that the company can maintain growth and profitability into the future.
Omobolanli Adishui. Arise News.